Hey fellow tennis nerds, I'm here with Carl Adrian, a coach from the Estepona Academy Tennis Web Valley, you're calling it. Yes. And uh, today we tested his racket. I promised that in an earlier video. And this is something uh, called a Donne Senecor Penta 100. And uh, it's one of the more arm-friendly brands on the market, Donne. And you played with them, their rackets for a long time. And why did you, and how did you end up with, with Donne? Uh, to be honest, uh, before using Donne, I was using the Blade, uh, the Blade 98. Uh, it was the one that had the green, but not, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. not the first version. I remember it was the green one. And uh, Donne was uh, starting up in, in Norway, actually. Um, they approached me, I had some good results. Uh, so uh, they offered me, I of course had to try it before signing anything. And to be honest, from the first try, I really felt like I, I liked it. And they explained to me the technology, the technology really made sense to me at, at the time as they were explaining it to me. And as I tried it, I, I did feel what they were explaining to me made sense. And I did feel that it reflected into the, the racket itself, right? Um, you can kind of see underneath here, I don't know, I'm going to bring it closer. Yeah. It, it has some layers, basically has foam inside, right? Even if you, if you cut this racket, uh, like across the frame, the entire frame is filled with this foam. It's called Zenicor, it's the lightest foam on, on the market. Uh, there's no foam that's lighter than, than Zenicor and they've patented this and then they've put it into the Donne rackets. Uh, basically what this means is that it absorbs a lot of shock. Uh, you actually don't really need an anti-vibrator or a dampener. Uh, I don't use it, it's not really necessary. If you want to use it, you obviously can, but it's not necessary. It already absorbs a lot of the vibrations. As well as this one, as it's called the Penta, what it has is that there's five layers of carbon uh, laid up within the foam. Because just the foam, it would be very soft, right? And very flexible, but the carbon stiffens it up. So this one has Penta, so it's five layers. There's a newer model called Hexa, has six layers, and now the newest one has Octo, which I'm gonna be trying out is a 2022. I'm gonna be trying it, I'm receiving it in a couple of weeks. And actually the 2022 has now a uni body. So instead of having uh, the grip uh, is usually one piece, and then from the grip on the frame is another piece, and they weld it together, not just the Donne, but any racket on the market. Uh, the uni body is actually one entire piece. It will make it feel even a little bit more solid. Um, the Octo, which makes it eight layers of carbons, is going to go even stiffer. For at least the competition players, we do like the stiffer, the more power and so on, maintaining the, the Zenicor foam. So I'm actually very, very happy with this. I've been using this now for, uh, for Jonas, maybe like six years. Yeah, so yeah, something seven, like that. Seven years, I've used it a very long time. I haven't needed to change. I haven't really tried anything else just because well, first of all, I, I do have a, have a contract with them, but, but regardless, I have no need to change and I'm willing to extend it longer and longer as long as they're happy with me, of course. And it's an interesting frame because when I got to know you, you were playing with the smaller head size. Correct. I was started with a 97. Yeah, yeah. And that one was a little bit too uh, flexible for my taste. And I think also you struggle a bit with the pace. Yeah. When I play with this one, the 100, uh, I feel like the, this nice flex is still there. It does feel arm friendly, but still you have more power. Like mm. you have a bit more spin, more power, but the feeling on impact is still very nice. Like the foam does its job. These are not very stiff racket, but it does give you some pop. And that's in, important, especially today's game, playing with these ultra flexible rackets that they did in the past can be quite tough. You need to generate all your power yourself. You coach, uh, you know, every day for many hours and still you play some competitive matches as well. So you need a racket that balances that, right? Because correct. you use only this one. You don't I have different racks. I only use this one, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm super happy with this. Also, what I did do uh, going from uh, from competing on the on the Future Tour into now, I did go from the 97 uh, up to the, the 100, just because it's a little bit more forgiving. I did feel like it's a little bit stiffer. Uh, it doesn't, I don't think it needs it doesn't need to be it's the same racket the yeah. one was penta 97 this one is penta 100 the only difference is that this is a bigger bigger head frame also i i wished that i would have noticed this uh, before i i hung my my rackets on the wall before i stopped competing because uh, this one i'm not very tall i'm not very big i like to be aggressive but i don't have all the kilos or, or, or pounds of weight that a, that a bigger person might have that may uh, use lean more towards the 97. I wish I would have tried the 100 way back. I think it's more my racket, but very happy with it now. These specs, um, to be honest, I have them leaded up with a 
we're with Nikki. Uh, you guys all know Nikki, I'm sure. Um, he's a professional at this. We, we it took us, I mean, a few weeks of testing a little bit more, a little bit less, a little bit more on the on the on the grip, a little bit more on the on the head, a bit higher, lower. And this is what I got to. I cannot tell you right now what I have because I honestly don't know, but I will find out so Jonas can share it on, on the channel. And also on this one, I do have a leather grip. Uh, I personally, I'm, I must have a leather grip on my rackets. Since the day I tried them, I've never been able to go back. I really feel the edges on the on the racket. The bevels, yeah. yeah. The bevels, um, and I feel like it does give it a little bit more weight. I know that a leather grip is heavier than a than a cushion grip. I don't know what they're called, factory grip or a synthetic grip. Synthetic grip, yeah. Synthetic yeah. grip. Uh, this is a leather grip, so definitely a lot harder. Very common to get blisters. If you guys do want to try the leather grip after watching this, go ahead and do so. I recommend it. But you may get some blisters at least for the for the first few weeks until you get accustomed to it, because you do feel the edges and and the, and it's a lot harder. It's a lot it's a, it's a lot harder on the hand. But then the, again, the feel you get for the volleys, for the drop shots, for the hand, it does increase. Just bear with it for a little bit of time, I would say. And uh, to be honest, I love this racket. It's my baby. <laughs> great, great. Uh, what? Well, yeah, you you just tried it. Yeah, didn't I just you? tried we, it. We I, just I, had a look. I'm sweating. Yeah, sweating. yeah, we had a hit with it. And I, I, in the beginning, to be honest, I'm always like skeptical. That is my job to be a bit skeptical. I thought, okay, you know, um, a lot of foams might remove the feeling. Like if you have mm. foam-filled rackets, there's a risk that they're so damp and you don't feel the ball. But this one, I actually said uh, to Carl during play, I'm like, wow. And also he noticed probably that I was playing the most consistent out of all the rackets we tried. We were trying around a bit and I Not felt to be like... Not biased or anything, but... No, no, exactly. Was... For you, it, it's one thing, but for me, it's, it's pretty easy to say that I felt that I got better control, but still enough power to actually give some penetration to the ball. I don't mm. need like a massive power, but the 100 square inch head size gives me a little bit more forgiveness. So if I hit out cent off center, it's still nice. And the customization, which I would guess is somewhere around 315 grams on strong and uh, a little bit head light, not, not too much, but, but he likes a little bit extra weight in the handle. It's just perfect for me. So it's like a traditional feeling racket, but more forgiving. Yeah. And, and I think that is what I like. That's something that feels traditional. Ah, it's an actually an interesting construction of beam because it's, it's 20 here, 20 here. It moves up and then you have 27 and 24. So you don't at all feel the 27, which is where the power comes in. So that's a very nice uh, idea. I never saw that kind of beam construction where it starts so thin. Old Prince frames used to have that, but the, this one is, is a nice idea. And it has the typical pure drive uh, style um, power racket design here in the shaft. So yeah, definitely if you have arm issues and you still want power, I think this uh, Donne 100 series I've already reviewed the Allwood, which I also liked a lot. I gave that a very nice review. Mm. Uh, and But this one I feel is a little bit less powerful maybe. So I feel a bit more at home with this personally. Mm. And you use what string? Uh, I use the MSV uh, Focus uh, Hex. Uh, it's the Ultra one. Ultra. Yeah, right, yeah. Sorry, so it's so quite a firm polyester control. Firm. String, and yeah. I use 130. Uh, I personally like the 130. I just kind of feel like I can really hit through the ball yeah. and I don't, uh, I don't really feel like I'm risking to go too long. Uh, I kind of like to go for my shots. I don't have much to give uh, <laughs> because of my, my, my body type. But um, I do give it my all and, and because of the thicker string, the, the, old, the what's it called, the uh, ultra stiff yeah, strings yeah. And, and just the arm friendly racket and it's a little bit softer than what usually I can really go through it. And, and I feel they could execute really well, at least in my opinion. And, a lot of people have tried do agree with me so uh, give it a go if you're into arm friendly rackets i've listed a few of the best arm friendly rackets and i always mention donate because they really focus on it donate pro Canics and like rackets like the wilson clash these are arm friendly rackets but obviously you need to find something that works for you so uh, don't discount donate they have some really interesting frames there are other reviews of other models and we will also be testing the new octo core when it arrives so i'm very keen to try that the Unibody Octocore series. You know, so something interesting about the Octocore, I, I did receive one a couple of weeks ago, uh, but the uh, all wood um, ah, with, yeah, with yeah. the Unibody, right? Uh, so, so one body, like so no foam. Exactly, yeah, yeah. one body. And uh, actually, I did give um, the person that uh, wanted to try it, uh, he tried it, he loved it, but I only had the Grip 3. He wanted a Grip 2. Ah. And he wanted it right away because he loved the racket so much and he was going to travel and he needed it. So I, I phoned Nikki, of course, and said, look, can you bring it down from a grip three to grip two? Yeah, of course he can. I gave it to him and then 
shortly later I received a message saying that Adrian I'm sorry but I, I cannot do it and uh, I was a little bit surprised but then he explained that because it, it's just it's One carbon piece, yeah. it's carbon it's not a pallet uh, all grips if you un if you yeah this is, a, the, this is a pallet yeah, yeah exactly. it has a pallet right it's made out of wood so you can kind of shave the I don't know what the process is exactly. yeah it's, it's actually foam like it's a foam pallet it feels like wood but it's actually foam that hardens and then uh, you can actually you know shave it off uh, but then you have to be pretty decent customizer or somewhat handy you can shave it off and then put something else if you're good some rackets have just pallets where mm -hmm. like plastic so you can replace them but this is a, a one core and that the idea i guess is for to make it feel more solid like more like right. one piece yeah, yeah. Right. Okay. that's interesting actually yeah. yeah so he actually couldn't uh, grip size it down so that actually just goes to show that it really is one entire piece yeah, yeah. I, don't know, I was a little bit surprised for his answer yeah. but uh, it made sense because i know that that's a new technology and and i think that uh, donna is the first one to do this all right thanks carl it was very interesting uh, i want to hit a few more balls with this before we leave today i hope you liked the review check out Doné rackets uh, you get yours from racket one in norway but not everyone is in norway uh, but they're a good supplier and if you're in yeah. spain uh, talk to carl and maybe hook you up take care guys have a good one Bye,